So welcome everybody to the Monday, May 22nd meeting of the Conway Select Board in the special location of the Conway Grammar School. Um, it is 6 o'clock and at 7 there will be the pre-town meeting across the hallway. That's why we're here. Um, call the meeting to order. The first item is voting to approve the minutes of May 15. Just look through them. Everything looks good to me. I'll vote to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So, so there is a, yeah, isn't there? Okay. Next is voting to approve the accounts payable warrants in the amount of $120,044.82. The payroll warrant in the amount of $130,565.66. The payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $32,402.42. Just in going over them, the accounts payable warrant did include all of our tax abatements and um, tax rebates that were, I guess, the subject of tax appeals is what it looked like, or assessor appeals. So, um, <clears throat> so I'll move to approve those warrants. Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. <coughs> um, meetings attended by select board members. Chris? None here. Erica? None. So we had a uh, school committee, grand school committee, and a whole lot of other meetings, uh, including today. But um, lots of meetings with the town lawyer. To, uh, Get us ready for the upcoming festivities. And public comments, none on So new business. Discuss and vote to approve the new transfer station fluorescent orange bag sticker policy right up. What? No, I was just looking at Adam has the mm -hmm. oh. so you Adam can see the sticker. more or less what the color is. It'll be so a little are, different. These are four stickers. Do note from the from our field trip to the uh, which transfer stations we go to? Charlemont. Charlemont. They each of their stickers was this size. Yeah. And it, you could see it. The transfer station attendant could see it from thirty yards away. Right. So the and, so and each sticker was and, each sticker was this size, and it was always on the side of the bag. These are sort of going to be around the the. So to to me, I thought that that, that the bigger ones were were a little bit better just so that you the attendants could see them easier yeah. count them easier that this required bending over or looking just a little bit one step more of a glance from the attendants mm -hmm. to see if they're the right ones if they're the right place and they had to be affixed in a certain way I thought it was just easier to have to say and slap them on the back same um, um, cost difference yeah, I was going to say, the four, cost times, <laughs> four times the cost. Oh, really? Have, four times? <laughs> well, well, I mean, I, if you get four stickers out of that. Yeah. As a, oh, got it. Yeah. I see what you're, you're saying. Plus, we have to mail them out to some people, so the cost of right. mailing. So with this, since we're giving 104, I'll be putting 26 of those into a 9 by 6 envelope okay. for handing out. For the people who request to have them mailed. Well, even those who don't, I'm just going to have them all sorted and ready to go oh, okay. in packs so that, you know, it's mm -hmm. like done. And then when somebody, because everybody in the town offices will have those ready to go, as right. well so as the that, Google yeah. spreadsheet. Right. So whenever we're doing it, they can just hand them that with mm -hmm. their decal and they'll be. Because the other thing that I thought is when you grab your bag of trash, you're grabbing it by the neck, mm -hmm. usually. And so if you're grabbing it by the neck after the stickers on it, then you're smooshing the sticker together and so like crumpling it. Is the whole backing the, sticky? Yes. Yes. And oh, you so can, you can still slap so you, it on the yeah, back. So you yeah, and, and it, it comes apart like right there, so uh -huh. you can okay. peel it pretty easily. It says to wrap it around the sticker of the bag. You could just throw it in the bag yeah, itself. Yeah. You know. Is this, is, is this form going out, or is this just for us? No, I wanted approval that this was what you had decided and that I can start educating people based on this. So if it doesn't matter, if it's wrapped around the neck... Then, yeah, then, then I don't think then, we should say that. Yeah. Okay, so we'll take that off of there. Yeah, okay. that's a good compromise. Yes, yes. There was an extra A in here somewhere. Uh, 
Of course, then we have to take out the picture, but that's okay. We'll figure something. Yes, but the, what's the little decal or the, the bridge <laughs> that's on the current dump decals? That's true. We could do we that. We could just put the bridge on there so people would still feel like it's coming. My kids still get excited every time like we oh, go to the gas is. station and you pull up next to a car that has like a convoy transfer station okay. sticker. They're like super <coughs> excited, like that person's from Coco. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> At least they're banging on there. <laughs> <coughs> Should we discuss the price of an added decal if a household wants more than one decal? The price for the second, yeah. Well, I thought that they was just by car. I thought that we were going to do it if it's a car. It gets one sticker. If you want another sticker for another car, it's twenty, another twenty, whatever. But you want to get more, more mm -hmm. of these though. Yeah, you don't get these. But the thing is, for people who get two uh, stickers, yeah. car decals per household, did you want to give them a break on the second one since they're already supporting the transfer station, and it's just so they can use more than one car? That's the only question. And they don't get more stickers. They do not I get more you. of these. No, it's just. Because quite a few people buy more than one car decal. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would just charge a dollar for the price of the extra decal, I guess. That's up to the board. Harder to make change. Yeah. Five or ten is easier. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's Most just because of the cash. decal, you know what I mean? Like, they're not getting more right. trash out of it. Right. That's my thing. Right. It's like, I don't think we should charge that much for it just to cover the cost of the decal. Up, up to you all. I'm totally agnostic. <laughs> yeah, I know I am too, but I but I get the point about the, you know, the change. Yeah. That's. I don't know how about five. I think that's what it was before, but I'm not it? sure. So. That's it's just sticking in my head that they did the first one at ten and the second one at five, but I don't really. Can we check that? Really remember? Would, I mean, they would probably know the transfer station. That's good enough. We can just say five. Yeah, yeah. that's good. That's good enough. I don't think that's happened recently. I think that was when I was with the Board of Health. I don't think they, but okay. So you want to? Yeah, additional decals will come at a five dollar fee. Okay. Okay, so it's five dollars <coughs> for. So you want to vote on that? Uh, I'll vote to approve the additional cost of an additional decal for a household at five dollars. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because I'm already getting some questions from people, which I love, and the resonant feedback thing on the website of the uh, Ask Me Questions, and that question came up, and I went, oh, <laughs> good question, good and he one. does that. He's good. <laughs> but so we still don't have an answer as far as loose trash, like if someone shows up with loose trash. It's supposed to be in the bag. It's, yeah, but I mean. So I don't know if we want to put anything in there about there will hopefully be uh, bags there? Um, we can start that. One of the things I was thinking is that I'd like to have, if it if it's okay with the board and you, that you and I and Jan meet with the transfer station attendants. I've asked them to start making a list of the things that are just awkward and don't fit mm -hmm. in the bag and so that we can talk with Jan about, you know, how other transfer stations do it. The maple sugar tube. <coughs> yeah, there's, there's like a bunch that's of stuff. That's just a huge yeah. thing because <laughs> oh, most yeah. of the people replace it if they don't replace it, it's easier to replace it every year than it is to really clean it out good. Yeah, um, yeah. So, uh, and if you don't clean it out good, recycled. then you like make people it sick. It actually can. Yeah. When I was making the bags for the bag share uh -huh. with the feed bags. But you're not supposed to have any food product on any recyclable stuff. It's all No, this is for washed. making a shopping bag. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you would use a grommet and, and Lenny would use the woman who taught me how to do it and use maple tubing. And also irrigation tape. Oh, so they can be used, but they can't be recycled. I mean, they can't not, be. They yeah, can't I don't know. I don't know of any no. way to do that. Unfortunately, I mean, mm -hmm. technically, it's probably recyclable material, but there isn't a process for making yeah. that happen. Especially because anytime you're dealing with like recycling at a MRF, it's all going up metal grading, and those things are considered tanglers, which are like the worst in the mm -hmm. world. And the guys then have to go with exacto knives and cut it all. You know, so it just <laughs> there's no way to, unfortunately. It'd be very specialized. <clears throat> and a, a lot of the landscaping stuff, all the landscape fabric, which all the farmers use for cover crops and all that other stuff. Well, I mean, contractor bags, you can't fit that stuff in. 
Yeah, a lot of them you could fit in a contractor Amazing bag. Amazing you can yeah. fit in a contractor bag. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, shoot. What were we just talking they, about? They, well, if, if people do show up with loose trash, I mean, do the transportation attendants have some kind of, you know, is there some protocol for when someone shows up? So when I was there last week, they, they specifically asked that, that some, they said, it's, they said that what we're planning to do is an unworkable standard because they, they, there is just a million types of trash that won't go into a bag. And they, they told me, before, before I got there, the previous four cars just dropped off stuff that couldn't fit in a bag and that that if you say this is what they were telling me uh troy and jeff that uh that if that you almost need like you're almost going to need a full-time bag referee to stand there and say this is equals this and whatever because you know the person that, that just that dropped off these like car seats that were like and they had like six of them and because the whatever they were hanging on to them until all the kids got old and whatever. So Isn't, doesn't that come like bulky weights? It's bulky, yeah. That's what but I it, was. But saying, it was which is like it was like plastic plus metal plus like whatever and um, and yeah and uh, what else was there? Just weird goofy stuff is for people's houses like it is like a mop. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of yeah. that. Broom handles are really uh, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, like and just. So I think we'll find at the beginning that a lot more stuff ends up going into bulky, but this is why I'd like to sit down with Jan. This is why I asked the attendants to start just jotting down the list of these oddball things that come in, and then we'll meet with Jan, and we can just kind of go over what's best practice, where should it go, so everybody's on the same page about, you know, going forward. And then she also recommended, and I agree, that we have another public forum late August, early September, as the program's rolling out, so that everybody can come in and ask questions mm -hmm. and be like, okay, you know, now that it's happening, have it be so they can come in and say, I don't get it. What am I supposed to do? Mm -hmm. I'm also going to try to go up there um, once that's implemented, because I know one of the big fears that the transfer station employees have is just the debate with people, and mm -hmm. I'm okay doing that. <laughs> so, well, and you'll this be the is, bag reference. Yeah, this exactly. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, bless you. But this is the reason I wanted to make sure that this was good with you, so that I can start at least putting, I mean, I did put a piece in the currents for this month, for June, that talked about it, because some people didn't even go to the forum, so I wanted people to at least start getting a heads up that, you know, this is a new program. But it's going to take a lot of education. It's definitely going to be a big, big change for people, mm -hmm. especially the loose trash part. <laughs> I think that'll be huge, a big problem too and that's why I kind of wanted to I know we can't put it in here now because it's not it doesn't exist but like we've talked about about having um, uh, bags there that people can um, mm -hmm. drop off feed bags stuff like that for, for people with loose ways to use absolutely and I'm happy to um, ask Jeff to go up to like Home Depot and buy a couple of 95 gallon toters that we yeah. can start saving them in. Mm -hmm. People will bring them in, you know, because they did before. Yeah. So yeah, I think we should. Okay, sure. I know. I was realizing just because we mostly, re I mean, I have like a ton of recycling. Like we just don't generate a lot of garbage, but for that reason, like by the time I go to the dump, mm -hmm. animals have gotten into the, <laughs> gotten mm -hmm. into everything. It's so, <laughs> like, oh, it was bagged, and now it's all loose trash. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> I think we really need to, maybe you and I can get together about signs that we can put there. Mm -hmm. Donate your bags, feed bags, blah, 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 mm -hmm. and like list stuff that people can donate. I still have it on the 95 gallon toter I have from the last time. Yeah, because <laughs> I mean it would be good yeah. if it's there at the transfer station for people to see. Yeah, yeah. And then when they ask questions you can just go Yeah. read. <laughs> yep, yep, okay, so we'll get working on that. Um, and the other thing we didn't actually talk about, which it's, you know, I don't know if you, um, it was the donation program, if somebody has extra these, okay, yeah. and how that would look and how it would work. Don't we have a drop off at the town hall? We do, but then how do we decide who gets? Uh, low income, uh, low income and um, 
uh, seniors should be priority. Okay, so I guess we'll have to talk through the how that works in practice. Like, do we ask somebody to show their? Don't we already know? Their income level? No. No, definitely not. I mean, we know if someone's applied for a tax abatement. Yeah. Right. That, that's maybe, but that's in a different office. Right. So. so, yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to think about how we make it as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. For, and maybe that's another question for Jan about how that works in other but that's, towns. Like in general, like you know, up until three years ago, if you wanted free or reduced lunches for your kid at the school, you had to f fill out an application and show your tax returns. Right. They, uh -huh. The state changed all that. The state now tells the town how many people are eligible, and they've expanded vastly the categories. So people no longer have to show their income, whatever. But mm -hmm. anybody that gets Mass Health, anybody that gets. Uh, basically, any kind of state aid or benefit of any kind yeah. is is um, automatically eligible for. So we went from twenty something percent to uh, seventy something percent of kids that are eligible for free and reduced lunch. When you look at it holistically, and I suspect that that's pretty much true of the town as well. It, um, yeah, and my concern also is who else, who would need more trash stickers than that are already being given, right? Are people who... The families of diapers and stuff. Well, either well, that's that, one. or it could yeah. be on the other side, like contractors, yeah. or people that oh, well, consume yeah. far yeah. too much and throw or away people far too much. from Deerfield. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's a, that's a tricky one. Yeah, it's awesome um, to think about. Yes. You know. We, we have time, and it's not even necessary. We could <coughs> say we're going to go through the first year first and see 104 is a lot of stickers. Yeah. yeah. Do we even need to have a donation? I, I would plan. hope not, but yeah. yeah. So the following year, I mean, is there going to be, like, so, like, if I hoard all my 104 stickers for one year and don't throw anything away, like, the next year, do I have, like, a massive amount of mm -hmm. trash that I'm allowed to... So yeah. it, like it's not going to change color like, you know, one year it's pink and one I year asked orange. Jan about that and she said most towns just keep it the same color and yeah. I think they prefer it that way because the reason the orange was chosen was just so there isn't confusion and we don't have like, I wasn't allowed to pick the colors that Greenfield has so that Greenfield <laughs> people couldn't somehow accidentally oh, I sneak <coughs> something in with us. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's I don't think that's yeah. going to yeah. happen. but. But anyway, so that's the idea, is that we stick with the same color. The decal on the car changes every year. Right. Um, this year it's a blue. I hope it shows up enough. But but these, and that's a, that's a decision you all can make too, if after a year, you, you know. Whoa, yeah. But I wouldn't say then that your trash stickers from the year before were like, bad. Right, exactly. Because we're certainly not going to want to make the TSAs have to pick out the color of the sticker on the bag. So I guess what you I'm know. wondering is if is if we're given the option for people to donate unused stickers to the town, could we donate unused stickers to the transfer station and have kind of like, you know, like the loose waste bin for the, um, so that like, you know, if someone comes in they do have like, whatever, a raccoon got into their stuff, you know, like they can dump it into like a giant contractor bag and there's, you know, like, the station attendants know that after that gets filled, that's like two stickers or something, but they have like their own set of stickers that have been donated. I don't know. I'm just trying to think about the. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't know that it would, I mean, you'd still, the person who had the raccoon ripped bags would still have their stickers. They could still bring right, them. Right, yeah, but I mean, so like if I show up there and I do have loose trash, like, I mean, are they going to take it or... Because like, like I say, like it's this is like three stickers worth of trash. I have the stickers, but it's all loose. Like, what do we do then? That's why we want those donated bags there. Yeah. Okay. And feed so. bags and whatnot. I think we're gonna have to give a grace period, which is not easy. <laughs> but but the, the, you know, the reality of that though is when it's busy and there's ten cars lined up, mm -hmm. like you, yeah. you, if you, if you all of a sudden like open your car and you need to bag your trash one at a time from the trunk of your car, like. Well, so you take the bags home with you, and come back, and come back with it. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, unless people are like, "I'm here already. Everybody else can wait." Okay, well, then you like, drive out of the dump. And mm -hmm. Right. So that's what I'm saying. You <laughs> give it like a month or two of saying, "Okay, this is your learning period," and the TSAs uh -huh. can say, "You know, come this date, you won't be allowed to do that anymore." And here are some bags that you can take home with you if you need extra bags. You know. 
and give them a couple TSAs months. TSAs are going to be asking for money to buy electric cattle prods. <laughs> I also move think people are along in the <laughs> line. There's always going to be all kinds of uh, endless amounts of scenarios. Just mm -hmm. so I mean, I think it's one thing if somebody has a bag and they take it out of their car and it falls everywhere. Okay, pick it up, throw it in. But it's another thing if somebody comes with the loose waste. With the barrel. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And I think that's the issue right there, right? Because most loose trash, if it's not in a bag, it's going to be in a barrel. Because people don't just right. throw it loose in their car. No, they actually do. Well. Yeah, <laughs> they actually do. That's what pickup trucks are kind of for. <laughs> Especially the ones with the extra little bat walls on the side. Yeah. Uh, they, just, they just loose trash. Anyway, I know that one's going to be a big learning curve. So. I feel bad for the attendance because just every year the annual kerfluffling that goes on with the sticker, the renewals, the, the every year of July is like a period of conflict as the people that were told they need a sticker next time and they're there and they still don't get the sticker, but then they, whatever, and they, it was just... Every week there was... I know, but people know that now. We've been doing it for enough years that people really should know by now. <laughs> the hard part is going to be we don't sell them here, and that's something. That's another thing I think we really need to, which is why I wanted you guys to say, yes, this is okay, you can start using this to educate, and we can make signs to put up there saying, coming soon, blah, 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 whatever, you know. Because um, you know, to be honest, when I, I said to, to the fellow, you know, and they were they were just, you know, you, it's not workable. You just design something that's just never going to work. It's just nothing but exceptions to the rule. And so I said, I said, well, what would you have us do? Yeah. And he said, he said, honestly, you should make the window decals, the windshield decals, a hundred dollars, and keep everything else the way it is. And I thought that's not. No. Yes. That, that's not feasible. Yeah. That that's just like bad just worse but in a different way yeah let's just make all the elderly <coughs> like pay like a hundred dollars like yeah, i don't know so there's there's yeah. always going to be resistance to change that doesn't mean you shouldn't change yeah. right plus honestly all the other transfer stations are doing it and have been doing it so there must be a way to do it and you know i'd be up for doing another field trip or something and Watching how another town does it. It's funny how they know it's not going to work when they've never tried it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny how that works. It's definitely hard when you have to change <clears throat> and when you're on the front lines. Oh, I know it is. That's, that's why I want to be there yeah. for when it yeah. implement. I, I told them this. I told the attendants the same thing. <laughs> so I, I get their pain. I do. But, but you know, all right. It's got to change. Yeah. Um. So <coughs> the decal will go. Did we pass? Did the, you want? Did you, we you, vote on the? Yeah, there's no <coughs> vote. Yeah. Only, That's right. what I was just about to ask. Yeah, the, the only right. vote is for the decals. The only so, vote is for the five dollars for the. the yeah. Addition. So we did that vote for the five dollars. So, mm -hmm. so I make a motion that we approve the decal with the modification of eliminate the picture and the language about where to put the sticker. Where to put the sticker. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. And the policy write-up? Is this yes. okay to yeah. go out as all public? Yeah, except that the additional sticker is $5. Yeah. yeah. And there was an extra A. Extra A. a. <laughs> I got the extra A. Thank you. You're a very good editor. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. i make a motion to approve the... <laughs> Conway Select Board Transfer Station Policy Decision Write-Up. <laughs> I'm glad I struck your funny boat. That's good. I like doing that. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you See all. You, you're down to this. Um... Items not anticipated, 48 hours. Uh, I guess not. Uh, town administrator update. Not this week. <laughs> Select board member comments, concerns. Uh, I emailed um, 
Shreveland. Walter. 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 And Veronique, I just uh, just to let you know, there there's a tree on my property on um, Roy and Brook that is extremely large, extremely old. It's dead clearly, and has power lines running through it, mm. like between the branches. So I went through the whole process again of calling Eversource. It was kind of a pain in the butt because there's no house there, so I don't have an account to there. Anyway, long story short, finally got it through. Guy comes to my house, we talk for a while. He gave a name of an arborist here who actually works with Eversource, who's from Conway. And she provides trees for them to cut like every week. They gather as, as much as they can and then go out one day or one week to do all the cutting. Walter already knew about this, but just letting you guys know that there is a process that Eversource uses and they have a local arborist in our town that they use. So Walter is aware of it. Um, the number definitely worked. The number I called and that I gave um, during the last meeting, uh, they and they were in my at my house within three hours. So it definitely works. Just letting you know. Should have given that to Marilyn. I did. Okay, good. It's the same number. Good. Yep. Good, good, good. Um, Any announcements? Next, our next meeting is back in our usual location, but it's Tuesday, May 30th, because the 29th is the legal celebration of Memorial Day. Yes. And, uh, okay, Memorial Day, always famous because for those carriage drivers among us, means that's when you shift. The gentlemen only wear straw hats from between Memorial Day and Labor Day. Oh, thank God you reminded me of that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Going yes. through my hat collection yes, this afternoon. Yes, yes. Ladies, too. Such a faux pas. Ladies, too. Straw, straw hats are the rule for the summer. And you can start wearing white. Yes, this is true. Important things. So with that, motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.